Hong Kong's High Court has rejected an injunction application by the Department of Justice against a song. Now, this song rose to prominence during the 2019 social unrest. Authorities had sought to ban people from broadcasting, performing, circulating and reproducing this song online as part of the crackdown on national security issues. CNA's Deborah Wong with this report. Hong Kong Chief Executive John Lee asserted that threats to national security can come unexpectedly, so authorities must take effective measures to prevent such activities. Now he was speaking on the sidelines of an official visit to Malaysia. Jun 我也希望广大的市民知道针对危害国家安全的行为和有涉及犯罪行的人士我们的打击面只是很聚焦针对有关的人士去保障其他七百多万的香港市民in making its decision, the court said that they've had to strike the right balance between protecting human rights, which includes freedom of expression, when acting to safeguard national security. It questioned the effectiveness of the injunction, given that the acts under its application are already punishable under what it calls a robust criminal regime. The court also said it recognizes that if the injunction were to be granted, it would generate chilling effects on innocent people who may be engaged in legitimate activities. 即是高等法院停庭法官的就是他說給大家聽,在政府運用公權的時候必須要小心,權力的使用是需要會造成行善效應,會帶來一些行善,會帶來行善效應會令到一些無辜的人或者做正當行為的人都會害怕這件事。The application came after the song was wrongly played at international sporting events instead of the Chinese national anthem. Now this isn't the first time the song has come under fire. The lyrics contain a slogan which the court had earlier ruled as constituting secession. It went viral during the 2019 unrest as demonstrators called it the unofficial anthem of Hong Kong. Now that's led to the song appearing in top search results on Google for Hong Kong National Anthem. The city's technology chief, Sun Tung, revealed that the injunction was driven by Google's unwillingness to remove the content without a court order. The clampdown on national security issues has long drawn criticisms from US and UK. And just on Friday morning, Washington Post quoted sources saying that the White House has barred Chief Executive John Lee from attending APEC in San Francisco this November. Now, Mr. Lee is sanctioned by the U.S. for the crackdown on political freedom in Hong Kong. The news report also said that Hong Kong can still send other delegates to the summit. Beijing and Hong Kong authorities have strongly condemned the move, calling it a flagrant violation of APEC rules. Now, they've called on U.S. to lift all sanctions against Mr. Lee and to invite him to the summit. Geopolitical tensions haven't stopped Mr. Lee from seeking stronger ties with other regions like the Middle East. Now, he is currently in the last leg of his first official trip to Singapore, Indonesia and Malaysia, where he affirmed trade relations with ASEAN leaders. Hong Kong has applied to join the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, or RCEP, of which ASEAN is a part of, to enhance its competitiveness. Deborah Wong, CNA, Hong Kong.